Hello children, this video class is an initiative of Shiv Jyoti Educational Group. I am Shravya Vyas and I welcome you all to my social science class. So children, today we shall be doing revision of chapter 16 Kolkata and chapter 17 Chennai. We shall first start with the revision of chapter 16 Kolkata. The points to remember in this chapter are location of Kolkata, the state government of West Bengal and Kolkata, climate, clothes, food, festivals, culture, transport, industries and finally the tourist attractions of Kolkata. So children I request all of you to open your textbook page 95 and follow along with me while I quickly summarize this chapter. Okay, so first we shall talk about location of Kolkata. Kolkata is the capital of West Bengal and Kolkata was earlier known as Calcutta. And where is Kolkata situated? It is situated on the east bank of river Hooghly and Diamond Harbour is an important port in the city of Kolkata. All the important offices of the state government of West Bengal are located in Kolkata that is the governor of West Bengal, the chief minister of West Bengal and all important ministers of West Bengal they live and work in Kolkata for the West Bengal state government. Let us now come to climate. Kolkata has a moderate climate. What is the meaning of moderate? It means it is neither too hot in summer nor too cold in winter and June, July, August, September. These are the monsoon months of Kolkata and it is characterized by water logging in the city. Let us now come to the food of Kolkata. Rice and fish are the staple food of the Bengalis and Sandesh and Rasugula are the two most popular sweets of Kolkata. Our next topic is clothes. The traditional dress for men in Kolkata is the dhoti kurta or pajama kurta. The women wear sari blouse and salwar kameez. Let our next topic is festivals. Kali Puja and Durga Puja are the two main festivals of Kolkata though all major festivals are celebrated here. Now come our next topic is culture. Okay, Our next topic is culture. The main language spoken in Kolkata is Bengali and the people here they are fond of art and music. Football and cricket are one of some of the two most popular games in Kolkata and the great poet Rabindranath Tagore who wrote national anthem belonged to Kolkata and he was the first Indian to get the Nobel Prize. Now our next topic is transport. Kolkata's main railway stations are Howrah and Sialda, okay? And Howrah station is located on the west bank of the river Hooghly, okay? And the Howrah and Kolkata are twin cities and the Howrah bridge or Rabindra Setu and the Vidya Sadhgar Setu, they connect the twin cities. And Kolkata is the first city in India to have a metro and you can also also find trams and double decker buses in Kolkata and the airport in Kolkata is named after Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Let us now come to industries in Kolkata. The major industries in Kolkata are jute, textile, rice, rubber, paper and chemicals. And let's now come to the tourist attractions. Some of the important tourist attractions are Victoria Memorial Hall, the Science City, Kali Ghat, Alipur Zoo and the National Library. And this National Library is the biggest library in India and it is located in Kolkata. So children, this concludes the summary of chapter 16 Kolkata. We shall proceed to the book work and copy work of this chapter. 
children for the book work i request all of you to open your textbook page 98 okay so let's start with exercise a match the columns first airport so the airport is named after netaji subhash chandra bose so beside c i want you to write one question 2 bridge rabindra setu is the name of the bridge in kolkata question 3 railway station Howrah railway station is one of the two main railway stations in Kolkata. Question four: River. Hooghly, Kolkata is located on the river Hooghly. So, beside B Hooghly, I want you to write number four. Question five: Sweet. Sandesh is a popular sweet of Kolkata. So, beside A Sandesh, I want you to write five. Now come to page number ninety nine, and we shall do the multiple choice questions. Question one: Kolkata was earlier known as A. Calcutta, B. Calcutta, C. Caligat. The correct option is A. Calcutta. Question two: The people of Kolkata speak A. Punjabi, B. Bengali, C. Marathi, and the correct option is B. Bengali. Question three: The main festival of Kolkata is A. Holi, B. Diwali, and C. Durga Puja. And the correct option is C. Durga Puja. Question four: A popular sweet of Bengal is A. Rasgulla, B. Peta, and C. Laddu. The correct option is A. Rasgulla. Question five: Bengalis love to play A. Tennis. B football and C badminton and the correct option is B football. Let us now come to the copy work of this chapter. We shall start with the definitions first. The first definition is metro. What is a metro? An underground railway system. The second definition is tradition. A custom being followed for a very long time. Let us now come to the question and answers. Answer the following question one. Describe the climate of Kolkata. Answer: Kolkata has a moderate climate throughout the year. Question two. Name three places of tourist interest in Kolkata. Answer is one Science City, two Kaligat, three Alipur Zoo. Question three: What are the major industries found in Kolkata? Answer: Jute, chemical, textile, rubber, rice and paper are some of the industries found in Kolkata. Question four: What is the staple food of Bengalis? Answer: Rice and fish. Question five: What are the most popular games in Kolkata? Answer: Football and cricket. Let us now come to the summary of Chapter Seventeen, Chennai. The points to remember in this chapter are location of Chennai, climate of Chennai, clothes, food, festivals, language and culture, industry and tourist attractions of Chennai. So these are the main points to remember in this chapter. So children I request all of you to open your textbook page 101 page 101 so let us quickly summarize the chapter 17 chapter 17 chennai chennai is the capital of tamil nadu earlier chennai was known as madras it is a port city facing the bay of bengal and important offices of the government of tamil nadu are located here that is the governor of tamil nadu the chief minister of tamil nadu and other important ministers of tamil nadu they live in they live in chennai and work for the state government of tamil nadu our next topic is climate chennai is hot and humid throughout the year the sea breeze during the day and the land breeze at night give people some relief from the hot weather and the monsoon months of chennai are from october to december let us now come to the clothes in chennai since weather is hot and humid throughout the year 
people mostly wear cotton clothes and woolen clothes are not needed here the traditional dress of the men is the veshti and shirt girls wear pavade and blouse and the women wear sari and blouses let us now come to the festivals the two main festivals of chennai are pongal and kartike deepam though all major indian festivals are celebrated the two main festivals here are pongal and kartike deepam let us now come to food rice is the staple food of the people living here and rice is usually accompanied by rasam sambar poriyal and curd and the other popular dishes of chennai are idli dosa vada and upma and kesari is the popular sweet dish here now comes language and culture people in chennai speak tamil Bharatanatyam is the classical dance form of Tamil Nadu and Carnatic music is the traditional music of Tamil Nadu and all kinds of sports are played here but people especially enjoy cricket football tennis and chess let us now come to industries Chennai some of the major industries of Chennai are information technology cotton textiles and leathers and you can also find many factories here factories of cycles cars trucks and railway coaches and chennai has a well known film industry commonly called kollywood okay now our next topic is tourist attractions some of the tourist attractions of chennai are marina beach chennai museum St Thomas Church and Kapileshwara Temple these are some of the tourist attractions of Chennai so children let us now come to the book work of this chapter for this i want you to open your textbook page 104 104 okay so let's start with exercise a fill in the blanks question 1 chennai is the capital of tamil nadu Question 2 The staple food of the people of Chennai is rice. Question 3 The sea which Chennai faces is the Bay of Bengal. Question 4 Most people in Chennai speak Tamil. Question 5 Chennai has a hot and humid climate. Exercise B Name the following with reference to Chennai. Question 1 A beach Marina beach. Question two: The traditional music, Carnatic music. Question three: A well-known dance form, Bharatanatya. Question four: A church, Saint Thomas Church. Question five: A fort, Fort Saint George. A church, Saint Thomas Church. Question five: A fort. Fort Saint George. Now please open your textbook page one hundred and five one zero five, and we shall do the multiple choice questions. Okay. So question one: the old name for Chennai was A Madurai, B Madras, and C Mahabalipuram. And the correct option is B Madras. Question two: Chennai gets rain mainly in the months of A June to August. B February to March and C October to Na December and the correct option is C October to December. Question three: The harvest festival of Chennai is called A Pongal, B Holi, C Bihu and the correct answer is A Pongal. Question four: A famous tourist attraction of Chennai is A the Lotus Temple. B the gateway of india and C the kapileshwara temple and the correct option is C the kapileshwara temple so children let us now come to the copy work of this chapter we shall start with the definitions of chapter 17 chennai first definition is pavade what is a pavade long skirts generally worn by young girls question 2 kolam a traditional decorative pattern made on the floor with rice powder let us now start with question and answers okay answer the following question 
what kind of clothes do people wear in Chennai? Answer, since the weather is hot and humid, people mostly wear cotton clothes throughout the year. Question 2, which is the most important festival celebrated in Chennai? Answer, Pongal is the most important festival celebrated in Chennai. Question 3. Name three important industries in Chennai. Answer. 1. Cotton industry. 2. Textile industry. And 3. Leather industry. Question 4. Name three places of tourist interest in Chennai. Answer. 1. The Marina Beach. 2. The Golden Beach and 3. The Snake Park. So children, this concludes the summary, the book work and the copy work of two chapters that is chapter 16 Kolkata and chapter 17 Chennai. So children, I hope you are studying well for your exams. All the best for your preparations children and study well and take care. Till then, bye.